Hey guys, so today I have some really exciting news to share with you. Uh, I have some updates to my merch line. I have come out with a new something <laughs> for you guys. So I want to share that with you today in this video, just to go over what uh, the new item is and what is available and how you can purchase them. But first, I did want to give you um, some updates to the MW Wrap. So I launched my merch line with the MW Wrap last December during Mishmas, and you guys loved them. I still can't believe um, how well received they were and how supportive you guys were. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough. I restocked some of my more popular colors earlier this year those have been completely sold out so I did want to let you know that I have restocked citrine poppy and deep those are the three most popular colors that uh, I came out with for the MW wrap so I've restocked those if you're interested in those three colors they are now available on the site so I've come out with two new colors for the MW wraps for this summer season um, because those three colors were so popular, it gave me a nice insight into what you guys like and what you guys were into. So I could tell that you guys really liked, you know, bright colors. So I decided to come out with a bright pink and a bright green. Um, the bright green I've named Chlorophyll, and I still have them like wrapped up and in the dust bags for a reason. I will explain that later, but I did just want to let you know that these are the exact same MW wraps that I've had on my site, but this is one new color, Chlorophyll, and the other new color is called Rhodamine, which is basically just a really hot pink. So those are the two new colors in the MW wraps, and for those of you who maybe didn't know that I have a merch line, I will leave all the information down below in my description box, uh, my reveal video, which talks about the MW wrap specifically, like more in depth, and also my um, jewelry that I launched a couple months ago, where again, I kind of talk a little bit more in depth about um, these wraps and they're manufactured in Italy and why I went with those specific mills and my background as a knitwear designer, kind of working with fibers and things um, really lended itself to creating these wraps. So I just wanted to share with you these two new colors. I will take these out of the wrapping for you towards the end of this video, but I'm just keeping them in its packaging for a reason. So I will get to that in just one second. So the new piece of merchandise I'm launching today is the MW shawl. So the MW shawl is a square shaped shawl. So it is 140 centimeter square, or I believe that's 55 inch square. And it is made out of linen, cashmere, and silk. So it's 65 linen, 25% cashmere, 10% silk. So I wanted to create something that was much lighter weight than the wrap, which is 50-50 wool cashmere. I wanted something that was summertime friendly, warm weather friendly. So what I'm hoping you'll be able to tell, I think so, tell in this video is the gauziness of this fabric. It's so billowy and light, yet it has a lot of body because of the linen and the cashmere. And then that little touch of silk really gives it like a nice, luxurious hand. And so there is fringe all the way around. And then this is very hard to show because it is very, very subtle. You'll be able to see it on the website a little bit better, but my logo is woven into this much like the MW wrap, but this is at a larger size because the weave is more open. Oh, there, I think you can see it. Because the weave is more open, I felt like if the logo was too small, it just, you wouldn't be able to see it. Like it would just be completely lost. It would probably almost look like a mistake in the fabric. So I thought, let's make the logo a little bit larger. And at this scale, it almost looks like a herringbone chevron kind of pattern in there which I really love. So if you were to hold the shawl across, oh, I think you can see it. The logo is woven in like horizontally, where on the MW wraps, they're um, woven in at a 45 degree angle. And the reason why I did that is because my favorite way to wear like square shaped shawls is to fold it on the diagonal. And so you have a point kind of hanging down and then you can bring the two ends around the back of your neck. So that's why I wanted to print it horizontally because when you fold it on the diagonal, then they will actually appear on the diagonal. Let me just show you my tag is there at the bottom right hand corner along with the fiber content and like care instructions. So what I like to do is, like I said, fold this on the diagonal. So I take two opposing corners. So here is the diagonal fold and then I just kind of scrunch it up a little bit. This is definitely created to be worn very, very casually and then I just kind of wrap it around my neck 
like so. Let me stand up here so you guys can see. So here is the point, of course, a little, little zhuzhing always helps. If you wanna cut the tags off, by all means, I would not be offended. But here is how I like to wear the shawl. Of course, you can wear it like a normal scarf. You can just kind of scrunch it up and like hang it around your neck. Again, meant to be worn in the summer months, but I just love, love, love this fabric. I mean, you get something so luxurious, but it's so light, it's so comfortable to wear. And I was so excited to create something in linen. Linen is definitely one of my favorite fibers. It is not one of my favorite fibers to knit with. As a knitwear designer, it was um, difficult, <laughs> difficult to work with. But in a woven, like the imperfections of linen is what makes it so, so beautiful. So in the fabric, of these shawls, you're gonna notice that there's like little nubs, I'm trying to find one, there's like little nubs in there, that is the linen. Linen is just a very imperfect plant fiber, and so you're gonna get little nubs in there, and then the linen really helps with like the gauziness of the fabric. I just love how informal the fabric and the style of this is. I would consider this sort of like the uh, like little boho sister to my MW wraps, which are much more sleek and chic and sophisticated. This shawl definitely has like more spring summer vibes. Like you can wear it to the beach. You could definitely like fold it on the diagonal and wear it as a sarong. It may be a little bit long. You just have to roll the top up or you could wear it as more of a traditional shawl where you would put the point in the back and then just, you know, kind of drape it over your shoulders, which is great if you're, I don't know, I'm just picturing like a cool summer night and you're maybe sitting around a fire pit or something. Maybe you're at your lake house. Maybe you're at the beach. I'm just having these like visions of water because I'm in Vegas and it's so hot here, but just really, really perfect for like summer nights for me personally, because I am here in Las Vegas. The air conditioning is on at full blast everywhere. So it seems ridiculous, but I have to always carry like a hoodie or shawl with me in my bag whenever I go anywhere because you just never know. You could be freezing by the time you get somewhere. So I've been carrying this green one and the Rotomine one with me everywhere and it has come in so, so handy. So even though there is more fabric to the shawl than there is to the wrap, the wrap is definitely much warmer, again, because the fiber composition is wool and cashmere. Those are just much more insulating fibers. This has much more breathability. And I love like the, the crispness, the crunchiness of the linen, but it's soft at the same time. Linen is like one of those really magical, magical fibers. So I just loved being able to come up with a shawl like this for warmer weather. I just think it's such a great complement to the wrap. So this is the color chlorophyll in the shawl. Let me take this off. And then this is Rotomine. So this is the other color that we've come out with in the MW wrap as well. So it's basically just a hot pink and I love it. It's just such a fun, bright, beautiful color. So let me get this arranged, which is a little hard to do while you're sitting down, but I'm just gonna wrap it around here. And here is the Rotomine color. Isn't that just so fun? I love this for the summertime. As you guys know, I'm a neutrals freak. Like everything I own is usually just like black, gray, camel color, whatever. But every once in a while, I love a pop of color and I always go for something pink or something green, generally. Um, but those are my two favorite pops of color. I, I just feel like there's so much fun. Anyway, so that's the Rotomine color in the new shawl. And then I did do three repeat colors from the MW wraps. Um, I did them in this shawl as well. So I did citrine, of course. You guys love citrine. That color just keeps selling out of my MW wraps, which I have restocked, so it is there. I had to do it in the shawl as well. So let me go ahead and put this on. And this is definitely one of those greenish colors that I just love. So here is citrine and the color is the same as my NW wraps, but the finish of the fabric is different. Because there is 65% linen in here, there's gonna be less of a sheen compared to the wool and cashmere wrap. So that may like appear to be a brighter citrine, but it really is the same exact color. It's just on a different, it's almost like if you were to print it on matte paper versus glossy paper. So it's just gonna look a little bit different, but it's the same color. And the other color I had to do that we did in the MW wraps is the color deep. So this is that color that's like a navy with just a hint of purple in there. 
and I was so happy that it translated really well onto this fabric because you never know sometimes because of that different fiber content and because the finish is different sometimes colors like I was mentioning can look can appear a little bit different but it looks the same as you can see just navy with that hint of purple I really really love it and you guys love it too because this is another color in the MW wraps that keeps selling out so let me just get this one on so here is deep and I'm wearing something black so you can see it as a contrast it's actually really good contrast there so there is the deep and in the deeper colors like deep and next I'm going to show you black you can see my logo more clearly than in the lighter brighter shades and then the last repeat color that we're doing in the shawls that we had in the wraps is the black of course I had to have black and I am so happy with how this turned out let me put this on so you guys can see there's something about this fabric and the logo and how it's woven in that really makes this black look so interesting I hope you guys can see it hold on let me find a good shot here maybe over here but because of the nubby linen and how all of the different fibers take dye differently this almost looks like it's denim in a way I wish you guys could see it you'll definitely be able to see on the website I caught it in the pictures a lot better than I think the video cameras catching it but it keeps in line with this much more casual feel to these scarves I really didn't want anything that looked too sleek and sophisticated I really wanted something that was like casual and informal and I love how the black looks that way like naturally just because of like the way it's woven the gauziness of the fabric and how the different fibers take dye it just looks a little bit more like rustic than something like the MW wrap which is just very very sleek so anyway that is the black and then the three last colors are colors that I I just had to come out with for, for the summer season um, the first one is lilac and I decided to go with lilac because I had been seeing it a lot when I was just shopping I feel like Chanel had a really beautiful lilac bag I saw some beautiful lilac um, shoes and bags at Bottega Veneta and I am not a lilac purple person again I love my neutrals but every time I saw it in store it just really caught my eye and it just for some reason it just looked really fresh and new again and I just kind of I don't know I just kind of fell in love with it and then Pat McGrath <laughs> came out with her uh, divine blush collection and everything came out in this box and then I've been using the Tatcha silk powder and I'm like wow there's just a lot of lilac everywhere so I was so happy that I went with this color because you know when you go out of your comfort zone personal comfort zone it's it's hard it's it's hard to like figure out what may work what's not going to work but I went through a lot of different swatches and like variants of light purple of which as you can imagine there are tons and I really liked this one which was on the cooler side so let me throw this one on for you so here is the lilac and you know all of this fabric is like doubled up on one another so you know you can see my hands through this fabric again it's very very gauzy so if you were to wear it like just lightly kind of draped over your shoulder it's not going to look as purple like the color is going to look a little bit more translucent like this so here is lilac this color is just really really growing on me I absolutely love it and then next was another color that I just I don't know I just find very synonymous with the spring summertime and that is this sea foam color so this is just a very very light pastel -y aqua color it just reminds me of the beach and everything relating to summer and I just feel like this is the requisite color you need if you have like a beach house you probably have like a vase in this color or like a painted seashell in this color like something or a candle in the corner in this color yeah to me it just screams like ocean beach house and I love it so this is sea foam and last but not least is one of my favorite colors because it's the most neutral without <laughs> being you know black or navy um, and this is soft peach so this is like a really beautiful nude color with just a hint of peach in there 
I love this color. It goes so beautifully with black. It goes beautifully with gray. I think it looks beautiful with navy, with like a like a rich kind of like cognac or rich kind of caramel color. I think it complements that really well. I love this color, absolutely love it. So this is Soft Peach, and that is all eight uh, colors that I'm coming out with in this summer shawl. So these are produced in Italy. It's the same mill that produced my MW wraps. They are fantastic. I cannot tell you how incredible, incredible their fabrics are. Whenever they send me samples, like when we started talking about this project and they sent me all of these samples, it is really, really difficult to figure out what I want to go with, what fiber content I want to go with, like how I want it woven, the size, all of that. And they are just absolutely wonderful. They work with some of the biggest luxury brands in Italy, and I couldn't be more thrilled that they would work with me. So these are made in Italy. And again, all of the information will be on my website. So some additional information I wanted to make you guys aware of. So my MW wraps come in these dust bags and they come in the plastic and the plastic is what the factory sends these out in and i decided to leave them in the plastic and then just slip them into the dust bag because i just feel like the plastic it's waterproof and it just protects the wraps until they get to you a little bit better than if i were to take them out and then put them into um, just the dust bags and the reason why i say that is because i feel like the plastic like looks a little cheap but I really like the protective quality of the plastics. So that's why I keep them in here and um, all of the MW wraps will come with the dust bag. So I mentioned that because these uh, summer shawls are not going to come with a dust bag. They are only gonna come like this in a plastic bag. And again, I struggled with whether or not I wanted to keep them in this plastic or not because I do feel like they look a little bit cheap that way, but I just think that they're so well protected. I ship them out with tissue paper and in um, a corrugated box and I just feel like what if that box gets wet? This plastic will protect it from that. So they will be shipped to you in these plastic bags, but no um, cotton dust bag and that is my fault. So when you're doing projects like this, like me, for the first time, uh, there are a lot of uh, moving parts <laughs> and a lot of things uh, can go wrong. So anyway, I meant for these to have cotton bags as well. They don't, they're just gonna be shipped to you in the protective plastic covering. So I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. And before I leave you, I do just wanna show you these MW wraps in the new colors um, because I've shown you all the other colors. Um, again, I've restocked Deep, Citrine, and Poppy, the three most popular colors in the MW wraps. Those are available on the site now. Um, but I did wanna take these out of the wrapping and show you, um, but I left them in just so I could show you the difference in how these are gonna be shipped. So here is the MW wrap in chlorophyll. So here it is just draped down. Let me hold it up actually next to the uh, summer shawl in chlorophyll. And this way you can get a good sense of what I was saying about how they're the same color, but they're going to appear differently because they're on different fabrics. So here is the MW wrap and here is the summer shawl. So you can see that this is so much smoother and the color is so much more, I don't know, solid. And this, because the fabric is gauzy and there's you know such a beautiful blend of fiber in there that it's just going to look a little bit, a wee bit different, but the color is the same. Um, let me do the same thing with the Rotomine color. So here is the Rotomine color in the MW wrap. Oh, isn't that so pretty? And here is, the shawl. So here's the shawl, the linen blend, and here is the wrap. So again, very similar, but just a little bit of a different finish there. So it may appear a little bit differently, but same color. All right, so that is the update that I have for you regarding my merch line. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support that you've given me over the past few months. So definitely check out my website if you are interested. Everything will be linked down below in my description box. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.